This right here is my 2020 desk setup. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Nicholas Che. I'm a content creator, but today we are talking about my brand new desk setup for 2020. Now with most of us working from home, a desk setup is obviously crucial for you to maximize your productivity and ensure you have all the necessary equipment to maximize your creativity. Now, first off, a desk setup is unique to each individual as no two creators require the same components. For myself, my primary focuses of this desk setup are number one, to maximize my video editing timelines and number two, to ensure I have correct colors while I'm editing my photos. Video and photo editing are what take up the majority of my time. So invest Investing in these equipment have massively enhanced my workflow and allowed me to increase my productivity tenfold. So without further ado, let me run you guys through the different items I have for my 2020 creativity desk setup. All right, now first off, let's talk about the desk itself. This is a beautiful white curved desk from a company called Autonomous who sent it over for me a few months ago to check out and I've been very impressed, not only because of its quality, but also because of its affordability. For a price of less than $400, you get a beautiful curved desk that has so much space for you to do all your work and allows you the comfort to either sit or stand while you're working, which is a huge benefit, especially if you're going to be stuck behind a desk for hours on end it's super important to maintain your posture and standing up while working has tremendous benefits now this exact model is actually curved meaning that i have a little bit more immersive space into my monitor so that i feel like i'm more into my edit now as mentioned these desks are fully customizable so you can have preset buttons and it will either rise or fall based on those settings now let's go ahead and talk about the hardware components of this setup obviously the biggest feature piece is going to be this lg 34 inch curved monitor not only is it wide enough for me to see my entire timeline but it also allows me to manage my different workspaces or different browsers and windows that I have open, all with the ease of one monitor. I also love the fact that it's actually curved along with my desk, meaning I just feel a lot more immersed when I'm in my editing zone. Now the monitor is powered by my 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is one I've had for over three years now and it works like a beast. All my video editing, I get done on this and it's a workhorse. I'm able to handle 4K footage and it has not let me down. Now, not only do I do a lot of video editing, but a crucial part of that is going to be my audio setup. So right here, I have two audio engine speakers. They're both raised on these risers so that they're at the optimal angle for me to listen to my audio at. And anytime I have to record a voiceover, I have an Audio Technica microphone that is connected via the Scarlett USB directly to my computer, so I have some really clean audio. Now, next up on the list, we're gonna be answering the highly requested question of what keyboard I use. This right here is the Keychron K2, and the reason I have invested in this keyboard is, just wait. Now this is a mechanical keyboard and what that means is you get a lot more tactile feedback on every single click, clack, and button that you press on this thing. It is primarily used for gaming, however I also enjoy it as a video editor. This particular model is housed in this aluminum case so it gives it a really luxurious feel and the coolest thing about this is the fact that it actually changes colors so all you have to do is press this button and it will run through a variety of RGB lights that look super cool especially in the dark. In addition to that, my choice of hardware for my mouse, mice, mouse, is going to be the Logitech MX Master 3 as well as the Apple Magic Trackpad 2. Now the reason I have both of these devices are actually very practical. For any day-to-day -day tasks or just web surfing, I'm able to use the Logitech MX Master 3 to get really precise control over my movements. The really cool thing about the Master 3 is that they actually have customizable buttons that you can assign to a bunch of different functions. And the Magic Trackpad is mostly used when I'm editing my videos. It allows me to just zoom in and out of my timeline a lot faster, as well as just give me a lot more functionalities and operations within the Mac ecosystem. Right under the monitor, I have the newest edition of my setup and that is going to be the 2020 iPad Pro. I have recently upgraded from my old iPad, but in addition to the Magic Keyboard, this allows me to not only act as a second monitor using sidecar, but also just acts as a secondary device. Anytime I just wanna watch Netflix or YouTube videos, I'm able to leave my laptop docked and just watch it all from the comfort of my iPad. This right here is called the Loop Deck CT or the Loop Deck Creative Tool. And this is a video editing bay that allows you to assign a bunch of different functions to these buttons and these dials. Also has a touchscreen feature. This is usually plugged in while I'm editing my videos or photos, but it's a super great addition to my workstation. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the accessories that outline the setup. First off, this main component is going to be a desk shelf from a company called Grovemade. They sent it over for me to check out. I'm super happy with the quality of it. Not only does it allow me to elevate my speakers, but they also have drawers right here. So I have some notebooks. I also have a tray down here for my dongles and any other miscellaneous items that I need while I edit. It's got this beautiful wood finish and along with this leather desk mat, it gives a nice touch to my desk setup. As far as decorations and my desk setup, obviously I have the Mona Lisa behind me, which was launched on the Virgil Abloh X IKEA drop, which I picked up. From that drop, I also got the temporary clock right there. And then I have three of my prints from London, Paris, and Los Angeles lining the walls. And right here, I have some beautiful frames that my girlfriend made me to remind me while I'm working. Finally, we have these two lights here, which I use anytime it gets a little bit darker and I don't wanna turn on my bedroom lights and they are controlled by Alexa. So Alexa, turn on plug three. 
So boom, all my lights are turned on and I have a proper working station. Now, if I do not feel like standing, I will set my desk in the sitting position all by pressing this button. Finally, the last component of my desk setup is going to be this chair from Autonomous, which is the same company that sent over this desk. These two together are honestly a lifesaver, not only for my back posture, but just allows me to like kick back and relax while I'm editing. I can just have this headrest right here and wait for it. Look at this, it even has a footrest. So I'm literally able to just kick back while I'm editing or just watching some content on my big screen here. I forgot to add one thing. All right, if there's one thing that will make or break your desk setup, that is going to be cable management. It took me a little bit of time to figure out the proper way for me to wire all these cables so that it looked clean and minimal, but I finally figured it out. First off is going to be this tray, which was purchased from Ikea. It allows you to hold a bunch of different cables without it looking messy or disorganized. The majority of my cables for my monitor, my lamps on my desk, anything that requires power is going to be through this power strip right here which is wrapped in this plastic cable snake which is then zip tied to the frame of the bottom of this desk i don't think there is ever going to be a perfect solution but it makes sure that my cables are off the ground and gives it that clean aesthetic look but in addition to that management this monitor is actually mounted on a swivel arm which basically enables me to bring my monitor in and out as i please voila so everything is routed neatly through the back and if i really want to i can just get up all in the face of my timeline all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this desk setup. I know this video has been highly requested, so I definitely wanted to get it out for you guys. This has been a work in progress. It definitely didn't happen overnight. It took several iterations for me to finally get my Feng Shui right and all my chakras aligned in this setup. But if you enjoyed this, please make sure to drop a like down below. I know the majority of these comments are gonna be asking where the hell I got these products. So head to my description where we have rounded up these links for you guys. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. And as always, let's build. Peace. You should match it, it's that kill No way later, still I fuck my 28th up 1998, my family had the acro Oh, the legend Every night fucks every day up